Now what's up everyone? So TSI day eight notes. And what this is is pretty much factoring when A equals one. Pretty much factoring also known as easy factoring. Okay. <clears throat> I can tell you though Factoring is huge on the TSI. If you cannot do this section, you won't pass TSI. There's just there's always a few questions or three to four questions on t on factoring, and just not the easy ones. It's going to be the complicated ones later. But first, you have to learn how to do the small one. This baby steps first. Okay, you got to be good at adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing, positive, and negatives. And there's no way around it. It's just the way it is. So let's get into this. Uh, how to factor real quick what do you mean factor x squared plus x plus a number there's a letter right there there's a letter right there and they usually call this c these are numbers okay they're numbers and the way you factor is you want two numbers when you multiply equals C, but those same two numbers when you add them equal B. So you want two numbers when you multiply to give you C to multiply. But when you add them, give you B. And I'll get into an example right now, but that's that's it, that's factoring. So let's get straight into examples here. The more examples, the better. So number one. v squared plus 9v plus 20. Now, obviously, this first question is super easy because I'm going to make it easy before we get into the other stuff. Okay. So, super easy question. Okay. Again. That's a one. So A is one, B is nine, and C is 20. A is one, B is nine, C is 20. Right? Now, you want two numbers that when you multiply equal positive 20. And those same two numbers, when you add them, equal positive 9. Okay? Now, if you know the answer already, fantastic. I'm going to go step by step until you get the answer. I want to go baby steps. Okay? So first, 1 times what gives me 20? Well, 20. Right? Excellent. Now, if I do 1 plus 20, I get 21. So, I'm trying to get positive 20 when I multiply. Check. I'm trying to get positive 9 when I add the numbers. 21 is not 9. That's wrong. So, then 1 and 20 do not work. Then you go to 2. 2 times what gives you 20? Because all these have to equal 20. Ten. Two times ten is twenty. But if we do two plus ten, you get twelve. I'm looking for nine. So then that's wrong. Two and ten is wrong. Then you go to three. Oh wait, three doesn't go into twenty. Okay. How about four? Yes. Four times five goes into twenty. Good. Four plus five 
That's nine. Bingo. That's exactly what you need. Check and check. Those are the numbers you need. This is a positive four and a positive five. Positive four, positive five. Since the letter is V, 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 and then you put the numbers, positive four, and then a positive five. Can you put them backwards? Yes. No big deal. It's up to you. It doesn't matter at all. Now, how can you check your work so you never get a question wrong? Foil this. If you foil this, you should get that right there. There you go. You checked your work and you got none wrong. So easy hundreds for everyone. Now, of course, it gets harder, but I'm just going to go over the easy stuff first. All right. So number two. x squared minus 2x minus 15. a is 1, b is negative 2, c is negative 15. a is 1, b is a negative 2, and c is negative 15. Don't forget those negatives. Here they come into play now. Two numbers when you multiply equal which one again? Do you remember? The last one, negative 15. Two numbers when you add equal what? The middle number, which is negative 2. So I'm going to start. 1 times 15. Now, this is a trick. Hopefully you're paying attention to this so you, you hear it. If not, you're not gonna understand. I know I need a negative 15. I know I do, but don't worry about it. And I need a negative two. Don't worry about that at the very end. Let me show you. What's one times 15? It's 15, so we're okay. I know I need negative 15, but calm down. Keep positive 15 for now. If I add one plus 15, I get 16. If I subtract 1 and 15, I get negative 14. Neither one of these is my negative 2, which means that all this is wrong. We'll go to the next one now. 2. Does 2 go into 15? No. Now we'll go to 3. 3 times what gives you 15? 5. 3 times 5 gives us 15. Right? 3 times 5 gives you 15. I know I need negative 15. But wait, I'm just trying to do the baby steps. If you can do it all in your head in one step, great. Heck, yes. But if not, we do it like this. So then, 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Bingo. Negative 2. There's my negative 2 right there. So that means my 3 has to be positive 3. And my 5 has to be what? A negative 5. So it should be a positive 3 times a negative 5. Now I know 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15. Exactly what I need. Now I know which one's positive and which one's negative. The letter was x. x and x. Positive 3 and a minus 5. Again, you can flip those around all you want. It doesn't matter. Number three, p squared minus 14p plus 40. That's a one. So a is one, b is negative 14, 
and C is 40. Right? And you want what? Two numbers that multiply to give you how much? 40. But you also want two numbers that when you add, give you a negative 14, the middle number. Again, you want 40, so let's just start. 1 times 40. If I add them, I get 41. That doesn't work. 2 times 20. 2 times 20, 2 plus 20, that's 22. That doesn't work. 3 times, oh, doesn't go in there, 4. 4 times 10. 4 plus 10 is 14. Hey, wait a minute. I need a negative 14. I have a positive 14. I'm really close. Hmm. I wonder what I could do to help me get a negative 14 here, but keep the 4 and the 10. How does that work? If you really go with positive and negatives, then you would figure out it would be negative 4 times a negative 10. Negative 4 times negative 10, that's still positive 40. Negative 4 plus a negative 10 equals negative 14. Bingo. There you go. Negative and negative. Those are the pain butt ones. P and the letter P. Negative 4 and a negative 10. Now, if you're going to be confused with the minuses, if you want to remember that a minus and a plus will always be a minus minus. Minus plus means minus minus. I, I don't really teach that trick, but it's not really a trick. It's just something else for you to remember. What happens if you forget? Just be really good with adding and subtracting multiples and, 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 and positive and negatives. You know what I mean? Then you won't have to worry about it. And if you really want to memorize that, a minus and a minus will give you need a plus and a minus, where the minus is the bigger number. And then, of course, a plus and a plus obviously is a plus and a plus. So minus, minus, one plus, one minus, where the bigger number is minus. Minus and plus means minus and minus. But again, I don't teach that trick, or not trick, just that rule, because I just do the numbers. I don't have to worry about it. Number four, x plus 3x minus 28, that's a 1. So a is 1, b is 3, and c is negative 28. Two numbers that when you multiply equal which one? The last one, negative 28. Two numbers when you add, give you which one? The middle, a positive three. So we start. One times 28. Now remember, I need negative 28. But remember, worry about that last. If I add one plus 28, I get 29. If I subtract one and 28, I get negative 27. So that doesn't work. 2 times 14 gives me 28. 2 plus 14 gives me 16. And 2 minus 14 gives me negative 12. That doesn't work. Three, 3 doesn't give you 28. 4, yeah, 4. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Four plus seven is eleven. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four minus seven is negative three. Oh, I'm so close because I need a positive three. So what do you think you do? You're close. Instead of having a negative seven, what happens if you have a negative four and a positive seven? Negative four plus seven that gives you. A positive 3. Bingo. Negative 4 times a positive 7.
x and x, a negative 4, and a positive 7. And then if you're one of those who wants to write down the rule, plus and minus mean different signs, where the plus sign is the bigger number. Again, I'm not, I don't do that, I'm just going to do the, the number wise. <clears throat> Number five, b squared plus 8b plus 15. You want two numbers to multiply to give you what? Positive 15. But two numbers that when you add give you a positive eight. If you can do it in your head already, fantastic. Just show me the work. Show me the little table. That's all I want. Show me the table when I'm fine. One times fifteen. One plus fifteen is sixteen. That doesn't work. Two, that doesn't work. Three times five is fifteen. Three plus five. Eight. Hey, there are my numbers. positive 3 and positive 5. You want two numbers that when you multiply to give you what? positive 30 but when you add them, you're going to get negative 11. 1 times 30. That's 31. That doesn't work. 2 times 15. 2 plus 15. That's 17. That doesn't work. 3 times 10. 3 plus 10. That gives me 13. That doesn't work. 4, 4 doesn't go into it, 5 times 6, Five plus 6 is 11, oh, I need negative 11, what does that mean, change the signs, negative 5 times negative 6 is still positive 30, check, negative 5 plus a negative 6 is now negative 11, check, k with a minus 5, K with a minus six. I'm gonna do four more questions quickly, or kind of quickly, right? What I would do in these four questions, write on the question, pause me, and then solve it by yourself. And then check your work with what I do. Because if you're just writing down all the steps right now, you're not gonna learn. So pause me and try doing it. Right, so two numbers that when you multiply give you a negative 30. Two numbers that when you add give you a, wait a minute, what number's here? Negative one. So one times 30. One plus 30 is 31. I know I need negative 30, remember? But just, just chill, just, just chill, we'll get there. 2 times 15, that gives me 17. I should have subtracted here. Remember when, when there's negative, you subtract. That gives me negative 29. 2 times 15, that's 2 plus 15, that gives you 17. 2 minus 15 gives me a negative 13. 3 times 10. 3 plus 10 is 13. 3 minus 10 gives me a negative 7. I'm getting slower. I'm getting lower. Good, good. Smaller numbers. 4 times nothing. 5, five times 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. 5 minus 6 is negative one hey there's my negative one 
So I need a positive 5 and a negative 6. So positive 5 times a negative 6. Does that give me negative 30? Yes. Boom. And with a positive 5. And with a negative 6. Number 8. x squared minus 11x plus 24. Again, pause my video right now, solve it by yourself. See if you get the same answer. Two numbers that when you multiply, give you a positive 24. Two numbers that when you add, give you a negative 11. 1 times 24, 1 plus 24, that gives me 25. 2 times 12, gives me 24, but 2 plus 12 is 14. 3 times 8, 3 plus 8 is 11. Hey, I need negative 11. How about a negative 3 times a negative 8? Does that still give me positive 24? Yes. Negative 3 plus a negative 8. That gives me negative 11. Perfect. X minus 3. X minus 8. Number 9. x squared plus 4x minus 45. Again, pause me. Figure it out yourself. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 45. When you add them, give you positive 4. Remember that when I have negatives, that's when I add and subtract. So 1 times 45. I know we want negative 45, but remember, just chill. We'll get there. 1 plus 45, that gives you 46. 1 minus 45, that gives you negative 44. 2, no, 3. Yeah, 3 times 15. 3 plus 15 is 18. 3 minus 15 is negative 12. 4, no, 5. 5 does. 5 times 9. 5 plus 9, so 14. 5 minus 9 gives me negative 4. Hey, I'm close. I need a positive 4. So then, let's change it up and put a negative 5 plus 9. And that gives me my positive 4. Bingo. Negative 5 times 9. It gives me my negative 45, which is what I need over here. What's the letter? X. So then X with a negative 5. X with a positive 9. Then the last question here. Number 10. m squared minus 8m plus 12. Again, pause me and solve, please. Two numbers that when you multiply. <laughs> so I was going to get lazy. I tried to do cursive. Give you a positive 12. But when you add these numbers, you get negative 8. 1 times 12, 1 plus 12 gives me 13. And if you're still wondering, how come you don't do 1 minus 12 here, sir? It's when this number is negative, that's when I do the minuses. That doesn't work. 2 times 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. Hey, I need negative 8. So what do you do? Make them both negatives. Because negative 2 plus a negative 6 gives me negative 8. So this gives me a positive 12 and a negative 8. Check mark, check mark. M with a minus 2. M with a minus 6. Alright. 
Oh, right. Under 30 minutes. Nice. All right. So that's factoring part one. Easy, smeezy mode. It does get harder. More steps and complicated. And then the way the TSI will, will give it to you is just so beautiful. And I'll show it to you later. But all right. That's it. Laters. Zero.